Hero Beastmaster. Feel particularly nice. LGDs coming out with a couple more denies. Nova from Xenova, you're talking about the Rubik. Well, spot Fata here. Wild axes still ready to go and snare. The metamorphosis. Fata trying to escape, but the lift back into this arm ATB. One more hit is all he needs. Fata. Cutting through with a salve and a tango. Gets himself out of danger potentially here with a wild actor swinging back. X Nova dropping low and first blood goes to Yapsor. Now he's ensnared and surely will fall. But that is well played by Team Secret. Fata with some pressure that Beastmaster and Elder Titan can all push forward into this radiant safe lane. Gotta say, mid one. A gyro against an SF who has 12 souls up now. Looks like maybe he went for the level 2 raises over the level 2 necromastery. He's CSing very well. 11 4 against 13 8. Bottom lane again. Fata caught. Lift back after the ensnare. And this time, Arme does not get caught by that Echo Stomp. But Fata, tanky, not tanky enough. Wipes down. Go in. Up two in the ensnare. An opening onto the Fata here with a Metamorphosis ready, like you were mentioning this time. But the Radiant scanning. So will maneuver himself from east to west towards that middle lane. Chalice running away from the top. Puppy with a glimpse back and the Lucent Beam will drag him. Final killing blow there while bottom lane Fata dies. There's the meta used and pressure into the tier. That kind of maneuver is likely to come from LGD. Mid one is open and a potential kill to grab. The Spirit on cooldown for a second and he's just blown up so quickly. Yabsor had no chance to react there. He gets to sleep onto the Naga. More easily chow out the way. Barely behind Ace. One kill he's got on the SF. Down with FY behind him as well. Naga Siren. Red and waiting in the shadows. Going around. Bouncy room there, my friend. LGD. Duo coming in. FY. And maybe. Death. Feel like something's up. They want to try and make a play onto Ace. They know he's low mana here and only has, you know, an in switch into a lucid beam. But there's the glimpse sending back. The Naga Siren trouble is the Shadow Fiend is well in the thick of things here with a repel on him. And bottom lane, and it looks like LGD have given up on top. That should be a kill on, on Omni on bottom. The roar comes in, the right clicks from Luna. Verification and Guardian Angel though from Chalice by a little bit of time. After dropping low here, an ace with this Eclipse will be forced to use it. In comes Xnova, burst down immediately. Static Storm is there, flying through from Poppy. Chalice found, turns around with that purification, but Gyro arrives with that haste rune swinging. He'll be able to bring down the tower. And not too much action happening, only 9 kills uh, 13 minutes in. Beastmaster with the Helm of the Dominator finished, has an extra unit. Blind mid one having a bit of a scrap. That cooldown does just flip. Doesn't land the second rocket, but the rocket barrage will do the job. Meanwhile, Static Storm on the Chalice. LGD being picked apart from right up there. Uh, a roar expended as well with the Static Storm. It looks like it. The Omni unable to get any of his spells out. And LGD being pressured super hard. But look at who's coming in from behind. Terrorblade is ready to fight. The glimpse onto Rubik will catch X Nova. Sprinting forward. Mid one wants to get the damage in. And they will clear up yet another. Terrorblade still looking to fight though. He knows a number of these spells are down, but he can't just, he can't stick on a target. He can't no one here song to stop miss. them. The song is not gonna be in range. Finally they find the Elder Titan, but that is the only kill they'll get. Snare. SF has blink jewels. That, that seems like the only way they're gonna be able to jump onto the Luna here. Maybe those switches back towards the disruptor. Static Storm will cancel out any further follow-through. Now the song maybe has repel. Moves forward. Requiem onto who though? They've got to wind it up, but Fat is here potentially with a roar to turn back in the cooldown will land as well. Down goes X Nova and maybe follows. Chalice trapped inside everything else and Team Secret. Oh man. Ah, that really is a disaster for LGD. You know, they're setting up, they're getting their big old left hook to get right around the cheekbone of Secret, and then all of a sudden it's a duck under and a slam into the groin. As LGD fortunately left with bitter taste in their mouth and even more potentially going to come their way. They've trapped in Elder uh, the Terrorblade here with the Elder Titan. Yapsor may be about to die. Will indeed the Sunder thrown back but Ace loose and beams and damage from mid one will secure another kill. Arme, what was he doing there? They don't have meta. They don't have uh, Naga Siren. Uh, they can easily take tier 2 tower for chain feed. 
MGD just giving one by one. And now another glimpse. Chalice does have the repel. And the way this fight started, they have Requiem, they have Song. Yeah. They don't feel like they can move forward and use them. Somnus now, though, Yules into Requiem, wound up onto mid one. Does get a lot of damage in, but needs the raise. And the Fade Bolt from X. You have 40 seconds until Aegis is gone. Luna has the ultimate. Force have finished on EP. Luna picked up the micro from Fata, though. Traps and Rubik with a Centaur Stomp, FY. Maybe they've got vision of him, glimpsed back. Jules up from himself, but the Static Storm is still going to be there with the roar. Down maybe goes. At least they have uh, level 4 Lunar Blessing. Uh, I guess Team Secret is just gonna play around the Roche. Maybe try to bait the Song of the Siren before they go. Mid one. Straight in on top of FY. TB is here with a ton of damage though, and mid one is overplayed. He was oh. alone. <laughs> Luna's there pushing tower. She must have yeah. three people behind her. Yeah, that's the next level of thinking. Just the uh, baiting, and now they're gonna go from behind. And here are the three people, not behind the Luna, but behind the Naga Siren. Luna has managed to escape from that top lane, comes down toward Fast Wave as well. Attack. Top lane, Ace is up here on the tier 3, an unexpected move there. Creep Wave arriving in mid, Ace oh. makes the maneuver, maybe down the bottom lane, caught with a static storm, the Lincolns was popped and down he goes! Buyback is available, but now SF, half his souls, down the drain. Terrorblade forced to use meta. Left up here by the stomp, mid one still has that cheese to go. Fall down ready as well, but it looks like Secret pretty happy just to wait the Metamorphosis out for now, right? Yeah, after the meta is down, uh, Shadowfin will be out and uh, will only have half of the souls. But they can just can see here, FY catches four. Can they get on, on top of a big target though? Where's the Shadow Fiend? Where's the Requiem? He's not available. Mid one will get trapped in here, but throws the cooldown in. Maybe still holding onto that ulti, but mid one. He's got the cheese in two seconds. There is no way you're killing this gyrocopter with that butterfly ready and raring to go. Now, though, with the BKB done, Requiem too early. Lacoste too early. Now, Gyro <laughs> pops the cheese and maybe we'll have to run away. The Gyro survives through it all. And the one thing we didn't want to happen has happened. In onto the racks. The buildings are falling and LGD absolutely shredded here by Team Secret's game plan. Masterful display as the missile finishes off FY. The TB will sunder back onto Ace, but a quick Hurricane Pike back will allow the Luna to escape. But let Rax top, and now maybe an SF bot. A secret really pulling out all the stops in this game. I told you the recipe how not to miss the Shadowfin Dalti, and it just happened. Uh, they have no lockdown whatsoever, and Team Secret at this point can just do whatever they want. It really does feel that way. Oh, Luna, ulti. BKB as well. Kills off X Nova. Oh, Somnus. Go Scepter up for him. A spooky proposition against that Eclipse, but it ends at the right time and good game has been called. Secret, 19 to 9. 2,000 net worth lead at the end, but it was an absolute clinic from them. Precision gaming. From start Precision to finish. gaming, you say. Well, at the, at the end, uh, they were spreading. in the PL doppelganger. I like LGD's draft. It looks reasonable. Looks looks pretty good, but you know, right in that middle lane. Bashing back. Poor Queen of Pain. Every time he has a Phantom Rush, he just uses it. In the range of a tower, clicks her a couple of times. He just uses the Shadow Strike, uses Doppelganger. Bottom lane, they even rotate the Bounce Counter. Two-man nice. stun with a Mango play. Chalice in onto Ace. And Poppy, Wraith King does turn back with a stun and Yapsu arrives with a great shard play there. FY and Chalice trying to get in deep, but Ace through some trees and first blood goes the way of Yapsu. Ace is still alive here with no stun available from the sacking. He turns back to Snowball safe, comes on through and Chalice in all sorts of trouble. They'll take him down for a double. Yapsu maybe looking for more here as Poppy bashes 17. back X Nova. There's the double nice with a double bash and X Nova getting slapped around under this radiant here. One of three for nothing. Team Secret, Yapsu's. Here for Quap needs to bring out another one in a second. Can blink over towards the DD rune, refill that bottle. Or between the nulls. Wise bounty still slipping at level two, and Poppy closes in on three. Yapsor also in the vicinity. 
try and get himself away here. Maybe looks at the snowball. Dodges nice the dodge. borrow strike as Chalice a little bit too quick there. Now the charge through. So will be kept alive for a little longer. There's no dual breath for four. A borrow strike ready now from Chalice. Should catch in here and finally Yapzo dies. But the expenditure there. Pretty big. Again, three heroes. All being brought down to this bottom lane. And all they get is a tusk. Yeah. yeah. Damage expires. Ace hunted by some mangoes. There you go. Mango and a clarity from that courier. They'll move in now. Mango ready for Ace to get that stun to pop out. Shakiro is the target of choice. Chalice with a two-man stun. No, Puppy. Dogs away from it, and the Ice Shards will trap the Jakiro in. Chalice trying to get a bit more damage in onto Ace as the Bash pushes the Jakiro back out and away, but they have the Snowball to potentially make a play. Yapsor has to get it off now. Can he get this kill, though? What's going on, Jakiro? Mango HP regen is there. The Shards won't come in time. Oh. He didn't want to use it right away because he was kind of greedy. Wanted to stun both him and the Sanking. Fast the DP's out the top. He gets hit by a pop arcade. DP having a much better game so far. 29-10. Mid one. Still free farming, but this trade of farm in the mid lane was to be expected. Very difficult for both of the four rolls on either team to harass or do any real damage middle lane, but bottom Shard charge onto X Nova Chalice. He's here with a potential burrow strike onto two. Again, very good stuns from the Sand King, but I don't know if he can save X Nova with the shard trapping the Jakiro in. Ace will slice down the double-headed dragon. Chalice sticks around a little bit longer here, but the snowball will come out. Stun up the Sand King. Two-man stun again. Charge. He has one charge is here on Ace, who turns around and stuns, but the Whoa! Sonic Wave! Maybe with an instant triple! Queen of Pain comes. This is level 6, almost level 7. So they should play around the chrono. Find them. Trying to hunt the Razor. Got Burrow Strike and Epicenter. Don't even know if they need the chrono here. It looks nope. like Fata is dead regardless. <laughs> we'll spot out Yapzo here about half HP. Try and land the Burrow. Unfortunately, just misses out. The Queen of Pain still chasing forward, though. Snowball is forced. Dragged back. And Yapzo. Throws one last shards out to try and do some damage to the wave, but he will so or whatever nonsense build that comes out in pub games. It'll be the armor it looks like here for Ace. Yeah, but he, he farms really fast with the uh, with the skeletons. Yeah. Now, I mean, you can't kill them and they feed away a lot of gold if they, they're gonna come to mid lane. Like that. Oh, FY dies. The snowball bottom makes Nova. You get trapped in here. Static link from Fatter as maybe looks to blink forward aggressively. Sonic Wave is ready if he switches to Intreds, but the trouble is he's already dead. Jumped in to get a kill on Pup. Gold on Sanking. He almost has a blink dagger and the mana boot. Very nice. Just behind the void and he's ahead of the PL in If we call the mana boots, can we call uh, Tranquil boots? Hell boots? You can do anything you want like that. Were they actually called mana boots? I think they did. I don't... I don't think so. Oh, crap. You, you've distracted me. FY only level 4. Uh, I want to see if they... They should implement that. To see if uh, enemy team has a dome or... Or a smoke, how many... Smoke, or left. Obs. Nice Ice path not going to land onto Puppy. He's in there with a the dust onto FY, but the skeleton is chasing down Chalice. No Boris strike ready. He's being ripped apart. Damage too much. Yeah, this, this skeleton. Arme well on his way towards the Battle Fury while the PL have anything queued up. Exactly where he's heading, but epicenter bottom lane. Fata very far forward. Moves in to try and take down the Jakiro. And Jakiro is low. FY tracking back onto mid one. Doppelganger is here. Forced to use it as he is low HP up on the high ground with the shards to block LGD away from the Phantom Land. So the Sonic Wave goes out, but the PL's already far away. Snowball back into Chalice for the Ice Path on the Absol. At least they'll secure themselves this little Tusk kill. Mid one getting out there. I mean, that was a great effort from himself and the rest of the team to allow him to escape. Puppy goes in. Very aggressive play as Razor from the high ground baits out the Chrono. Lands only on the Fata now with the Macropire down. Razor will get focused as Puppy has died. PL trying to rejoin, but the damage output from LGD too much. Now a track back in. Mid one doppelgangers away. Can he juke with these illusions? No. Chalice with a big stun in. We'll make sure that LGD sweep through four. Uh, deep two wards. Look at the wardings uh, coming out from uh, LGD. They're playing around the 
Team Secret Spores. It'll be another kill. And snowball potentially, but LTG will come in from the back anyway. This is maybe with the double damage rune, the charge through. Ace stuns up Chalice. The Burrow Strike lands though with the Ice Path there, but Ace wasn't caught. Going to pain, aiming there for a nice little snipe out on Yapsul, but they'll lose their Sand King in exchange. That's substantial. It's this spread from Secret across three cores, plus the Tusk having a ton of money. While on LGD, it's really the top two that have the majority of the net worth. Mid one now, doppelgangering away, gets out of the epicenter, and on this low ground, he's in a decent position to jump out as well, but the nice time dilation will stop the doppelganger from coming out again. The nice Phantom Rush, even better, gets onto the high ground, but one more punch, nice the chrono. snowball save. Oh, it's going to keep him alive. Ice Path in with the Chrono there, doppelganger, mid one is still up and running, the Macro Pie clearing through Ace. Now they'll bring him down. But that's the reincarnation. He's able to come through and cycle his spells again. Bath is still going. And Exnova in trouble. Burst strike from Chalice does catch two. And Ace, they need to focus him. But Jakiro and Bounty both dead. There's no track. There's no control. There's no Sand King stun. He's in the sandstorm. And Arme is dead. Team Secret with a huge team fight. Kill four in the previous game. How, how is that even possible? Like, they would they would make these moves. Like, Arme right now with, with maybe. Right. FY has two wards in, in his inventory. Bounty getting right click down though with a double damage from Queen of Pain. Easy pickings with a Chrono while up a top lane. They'll know the Chrono's down and the Quap is there, so they move in. Jakiro caught, but Epicenter nicely done with a Burst Strike. Snowball Snave better! Yapsul keeps everyone alive with a double ganger out. Mid one tries to sprint away. Quap arrives and takes the Aegis out immediately, but Ace slaying people in the midst of battle. He does not care. His sword is bigger than your mace. Ah, May has to run away. The charge off Puppy and onto Maybe. Do they have the control? It looks no like they've got man, the damage. They don't pain. care about control secret secret so they can't kill him i usually would see manta style so we can get rid of get rid of this three seconds two seconds one second reincarnation ready. it's ready ace he will turn his fight around army stuck in a tree he needs to cut through there's the catch with the chrono but it's only on the raid king they have the damage from outside as well now they will bring down ace with the sonic wave good over the top but lgd expended so much for just that one kill. Ice Shards do trap Arme in, but he's got a time warp. He's aiming towards the BKB for now. Radiant are scared. Scan onto FY. Dust from Yapsor. Bounty has been rustled. No more messing around in our jungle, thank you very much. Again? Ice Shards and uh, Snowball, and you clear them in one shot. Also gives you uh, ability to be on the same level as your cores later on and gives you a lot of stats, status resistance as well. Oh, they are really committing for this. But the snowball save again. Yapsor is just so good at this. They will roll forward as the Raid 5 blast from, uh, from Ace, sorry, comes in and they'll clear up Chalice. One charges forward, but again, LGD, they are trying to force things to happen with Puppy dusting forward. FY has been caught by this potentially, and there we go. They see them. Yapsor already on the case. Try and bring down the pesky little bounty hunter. One more hit, one more tap. It's Sparta. No, it's not. It's Yap. Yapsor wave was very nice, but Secret haven't lined up for any of them. Oh, I love. I, I don't think that's uh, that's used uh, enough. It has whistle blade. Like you have a stout shield, you stout with the start Estonian block, but worked as good as Swiss. They got rid of the Soviet waves and they made some clocks of their own and they turned out better. Now Bounty immediately blown up. LGD feels like they need maybe mid shoving out that creep wave. Trying to set up for something and give themselves a little more of an angle to move in. But this has given Secret an angle to strike as well. The BKB from Arme jumps away from the static link. He can go for a two-man chrono here, but it's not going to be good enough. They try and force Chalice out, but he's dead. Three gone from LGD already as the Queen of Pain blinks up towards the high ground with Arme holding the ramp as well. But jump in from Ace, pops the Lincolns out. There's the blink away again from maybe, and FY tries to earn the Queen of Pain up, but in comes a charge. Puppy, he's ready to fight. No, he's not. Turn tail and run. They're forced to buy back from the Sand King, and this will be their time to depart. I'm, I'm surprised that uh, they didn't... Uh take the Roche there, instead Radiance they decided to chase Queen of Pain, attack. which might actually backfire. They still have a Reincarnation on the Raising, which is level 3, Sanking uh, needed to buy back there. Roshan glitched out inside of his pit, doesn't know where to stand. Twiddling his thumbs over in the, the right-hand side of the room, but middle lane, they will jump in. Puppy gets taken out as quickly as he sprinted forward. Ace now with a Spirit Vessel on him. 
Right click down here. I don't think he can armor toggle through this. We'll see though. Ace Chrono though, but he definitely can't. They do not catch the PL though. Uh, Sparta moves forwards. Mid one. Go full HP. They can't deal with him. Mid one's just going to run in here and do a ton of damage. Chalice gone. Nice ice path. Macropire does get the toss. Japs or cast. Snowball save people, but FY being ripped apart. The PL illusion is going in. Sparta dropped by maybe, and they don't want to deal with a PL. They're killing everyone else instead. LDD says, cool, mid one. You do what you want. We will destroy the rest of your team. Nice Double game over the ice path now. Ace still rolling forward as X Nova gets brought to his knees. Now that they're, Very good rendition. Yeah, they're gonna go in right. PL has uh, actually gone for God, he just needs career to buy it. They blow up Poppy. There is a reincarnation here from Ace, though, as the Murak Strike lands on two. Kallus with no Sandstorm, but a good Ice Path. Blink forward, maybe catches mid one. Aegis and she's still on him, though, like you were mentioning. Turns back and fights. No maybe mana, no mana, can't flick. One charge there, but is unable to get it done. Now Ace just moves on forwards. He's a bulldozer rolling in onto LGD. The tarmac unable to withstand the weight of this Wraith King. Oh, they ping it out. Fantanos, Radiance Fantanos. just come with the Radiance. There we go. Oh. Very nicely done. <laughs> <laughs> That's a Razor with Cheese. Uh, another ulti from Wraith King and still Aegis on Phantom Monster. Took have three cores with the three lives. Eight versus five. Eight versus three action. Hero. Saved up a little bit here with the Yules and the stun. Next Nova dead to right, says the Wraith King. Dismantle. And mounts the two heads on his bedroom wall. Ace will take down a nice little lane of racks here for Secret to claim as they shift up towards top as well. Chrono ready from the Faceless Void, but they need maybe to be alive at this point. Tier 3 top will surely fall. Ame comes in, catches the Wraith King. A reincarnation is yeah, there. He hits uh, everyone once, goes back. Just can't do anything. Oh, GD, they're, they're just getting outdone here. Secret inside this base. The doppelganger over, dodges the Burrow Strike. Arme now oh, can't even time walk away. Dead for a minute and a half. Queen of Pain blinking, TPing. Where is she off to? I, I can't can't keep up. Maybe. Okay, back in the fountain then. When it's time to call it, it's time to call it. I can't believe it might just be time to call it. There's the Sonic Wave, but secret five-man rotation into the fountain. On my way, says Fata, but that is surely, ga is surely game. GG is called, and Team Secret 2-0. Why the hell did he have the face of the freaking map? The, uh, once again, uh, Team Secret with uh, unorthodox picks. Like, four melee heroes. Uh, the